All right guys, how's it going? Today we're doing a pretty simple ration. This is a XMRE. This is a 1300 XT beef brisket. So this one is actually a single meal. This is again from our friend John that sent us a big box of stuff. So without any further ado, let's see what's inside. All right. Here's a knife he sent in. I'm gonna cut my finger off getting it out. Let's go ahead and shake it to the bottom. Peelable seal. Well, what fun is that, right? What fun is that? Let's take a look. I've actually never reviewed one of these XMR emails before. As far as I remember, um, we start off with cheese spread. Can't go wrong with that. There we go. Trying to get the reflection off of it. We have sunflower kernels. Orange beverage base powder. Fig bars. Crackers. Here we have a the brisket entree, of course. Have a heating pad. That's interesting. The heating pad for the ration here, I see now. So they have them separate on these. Has a steam hole. We have an accessory packet. Nice, pretty serious. Moist towelette, Bill's Brew Coffee, I Dye Salt, Sugar, Coffee Mate, the original Coffee Mate, a paper towel or napkin or toilet paper, depends on how things go. We have a spoon, and those of you guys asking the dates on these, we have 8281, so the 281st day of 2018. All right, guys, so first thing we're going to do is almost drop the coffee cup and smash it. So we're gonna go with the Bill's Brew. I'll take a look at it first to make sure. There's not much coffee in there. I think it's all right though, like totally fine. We'll let Philip dump that in there. Take his attention away from the camera for a second. And then next thing we're gonna do is open up the ration heater, the element. You want to open up? Well, I got just a solution for you. Here's their heating element. I've never used one of these before, so I'll tear here. Oh. Open that up. Chuck that in there first. Next is our main or brisket. There we go. Anything else need to heat up here? Fig bars, no, no. Cheese spread, yes. We'll chuck that in there. We have fill up to that line right there. We'll do that real quick. That's about just about right. Sit the top. Make sure the ration here gets good and good and moist. Taking off or not? For right now, let me lean this back up somewhere here. I'm not sure what to put that against. For the time being, let's just do that. All right. Beverage based orange powder. And we need some more water. Philip, you grab me another, a full bottle of water. Unprepared. Dump this stuff in there. Uh, what was the measurements on this? It's been so long since so I've done one of these. Doesn't say how much. Well, that's cool. I think that's more than a glass worth of stuff. We'll see here. Just want to fill this up for me. Our crackers are right here. I used to always cut these packages open. Everybody's like, why don't you just rip it? Well, I just ripped it and you've seen what happened. I got crackers all over the place and it's still not open. 
that makes a big mess out of it. Let's go ahead and our ration heater taking off. Oh man. Let's just do this. Let's set those right there. We'll pick those out of there as we go. Let's get this off of stuff over here. Set that over there out of the way. Careful, it's hot. We don't want to burn the table. Next thing up is our sunflower kernels. We'll dump some out. We'll leave the bag right there. Next up is our fig bars. The fig bars have always been good in the past and they seem like they also hold up very, very well. So we got three of them in there. that over those actually smell almost like cake icing very very strong we'll be back in one second once the main gets done okay so we're done i'm gonna put this i'm gonna put the brisket in this because it's a lot in the package i think it's gonna overflow our tray now we can hold it up to you guys and show you Go ahead and put this in here. The ration heater worked very good. It turned our tea spread to a liquid, no doubt, which may not be ideal. It actually smells very nice. It's actually making my mouth water. Okay, that over there. And now we can show you guys a little bit better in here what's going on it's quite a bit of food it smells like a nice beef roast really so let's scoot this back just a little bit and let's open our cheese spread this might be so liquefied i don't know if it's gonna pan out or not just do a little drip in here to see how it looks it's all right it's just really thin we use that for our crackers let's go ahead and take a bite of this There you go, if you can see it. Very, very tender. This has a, it has a very nice taste to it. Philip, you wanna try it? Got a, or a spoon or something over there? No spoon. If not, go grab one. Go grab one and come back. We'll keep going with this where he's doing that. Uh, grab another one because I need to stir this drink too. All right. So next up is our, our sunflower kernels. See right there. They actually have a quite, quite a lot of salt on them. Not in a bad way. They're very nice. They're very mild. A nice snack. Hmm. Not bad whatsoever. Actually, let's go to the crackers next. Let's see if we can just snap one off of here. They're very fragile. Let's squidge some of this out on here. And the cheese spread is melted but it's still, it's not like total liquid. It's actually very good. Slightly salty, almost like nacho cheese. Philip, you wanna try that? Sure. It's the first MRE you ever had besides the Belarusian and the Israeli. That's good. Yeah. 
with some cheese. If you're careful enough, you can try some of that on a cracker. That's actually very nice too. The cheese is very, very nice. Let's stir up our drink here. That might be way too much powder. I remember right, one pack of powder should be about two of these glasses. It's kind of all got lumpy on the bottom because I let it sit. Should have stirred that as soon as we, uh, as soon as we put her in there, I guess. All right. So, you want to try a cheese and cracker? I'll let you do that while I'm cranking on this. Holy cow. All the sugars in the bottom. Like paste. Careful, it's really, really hot. Those crackers are just like a saltine cracker, essentially. Let me see your cup. I'll blast you some in there. I'll take a drink of this while he's taking a bite of that. The orange drink's mixed about right. It's a little bit, a little bit on the thick side, but uh, overall pretty decent. All right, let him try his drink. The orange drink, kind of like Tang. If you like that kind of thing, I mean, not everybody does. Not bad at all. Here's our fig bar. Or some farmers use their teeth. You want to try some of those? They're salted, like modestly salted. The fig bar kind of has a cake icing taste to it. And smell to it. Try the fig bars or no? Let's make you try everything. I'm gonna scoot this over so I drip this in there. Moist towelette, a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of high school bathroom smell to that. I'm gonna take a whiff of that. A little toilet, yeah. little toilet a little smell to it. Bathroom smell. So that's pretty much your first. U.S. style MRE. What do you think about your first ever taste of this? It's pretty. It's, it's good. You think it's something you could eat every once in a while, or eat every day if you had to? Every once in a while. I like the variety that the other rations brought. More of a like this is a pretty real food, but right. some of these are more Chef Boyardee type stuff. The main's good. And thanks to John, we have all kinds of stuff that Philip can now try, including the pizza he included in there. Should be very interesting. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you liked today's video. Put a link down below for John's channel. Thanks again, man, for sending this ration in. And that's it. Have a good day.